things that you have to work on with him is you got to keep your cool and just stay consistent. You know, it's like anything else. If a bad play happens, you have to let it go. You have to go to the next play. When we get between the series, we'll get it fixed. And we'll, he didn't let that go. So you know, when we talked about him earlier in his career, he talked about that kind of stuff. Same thing. Do you feel like he got it fixed toward the end of that game, or is it a lingering thing you're a little concerned about? Well, I'm, I'm always concerned about it. I'm going to keep talking to him about it. I'm going to keep preaching. But the fact that what, what I was happy about was he gained it back in the fourth quarter, and he played a better fourth quarter like he had in the first half. But, yes, it's a constant thing, not only with him, because, like you said, in 16, he lost it a couple times. So, but last year, he never did. There was not one episode where he did. So you think you're over it, and then all of a sudden it pops back up. But I'm like that with all the guys. I don't want any of them to get flustered about a play and then lose their composure like so what do you teach your guys to stay on blocks on those RPOs? Like what is the proper, what do you tell them? It, that's just effort to finish. You know, get in, the, get in the proper spot and then the effort to finish. You have to finish it, not have to worry about being downfield and those things. Finish your block. If it happens, it happens. That's part of what we are in. Just finish your block and stay after people, and that's effort. Health-wise, how you guys do? I know Brady Taylor was close, and then Thayer Mumford left last week's game. Is he is he doing well now? We're a little banged up right now. I don't I don't know about Thayer yet for this week, but we're banged up. Brady's not back yet. Bowen's still out, and you know, and the guys, all the other guys, because of those things, are taking a lot of snaps. So we're banged up, and I think today was pretty good. I think they feel pretty good now, and hopefully we'll get Thayer back tomorrow and get him some work before the weekend. How did Allaby look after you looked at the film? And he played really well. You know, he had one one guy. You know, the guy spun on him inside, but other than that, he played, came in at a good time and, and did a pretty good job. I was proud of him. Yeah, he, it's, it's, it's been a change for him, but he's really playing consistent. You know, I'm happy with him. He, he had, you know, a couple screw-ups, just assignment-wise, what he did the other day in the Minnesota game. Uh, but throughout the year, he's been kind of consistent. I'm kind of happy. He's kind of, his snap accuracy is going through the roof since the TCU game. We worked on that. We fixed his stance a little bit. He's getting more and more comfortable each game. I guess they said he was a midseason All-American yesterday by ESPN or something. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to see him still even get better because I think there's more ahead. I don't think he's anywhere near the finished product. I think there's more in there. Here's a question I think we've all got. Is the offensive of line too tall to right? No. No, not at all. Can you explain last the year to Marco explain was. All, all those guys last year were the ball for 300 yards a game. We couldn't pass block last year. We couldn't make big plays in the pass game. So, you know, that was too tall to pass block. No. That's just attitude and effort. Were you so too no short way. to pass block last year? Yes. <laughs> do you feel that, <laughs> that when it's comfortable, do you need to run a guy with you for this opportunity? I hope so, yeah. I believe they can. I, I, I'm anxious. I want to see those times. I want to see a, you know, a crunch time when we have to go. Like at TCU, we got the ball before, and we took seven minutes off that clock and ran it and ran it and ran it to the 50. Those are the things that I want to see. When we get an opportunity to run it and run it and run it when you have to run it. it's third and one. Third yeah, when it's third and one, those, those are critical times that we can't fail. Absolutely we can't. And we got to keep working on it and pounding on it and making it part of what they do. Do you think you'll get Last question. Brandon and Brady back at some point? I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we got a bye week next week where we'll get a good chance to evaluate those guys and hopefully work with them a little bit. They were both moving around today, still not doing anything. So I'm hoping the bye week gives us some time to get back. And if Thayer can't go, is it definitely Josh or could they continue to slide in there possibly? No, it'll be, it'll be Josh to start right now. Yeah, but Thayer not.